decimals. How can we represent a number that is between the whole numbers 17 and 18? We can use fractions. 17 39 by 100 is one such number where 17 is the whole number part and 39 by 100 is the fractional part. Decimal numbers are similar to fractions. They help us represent numbers that lie between two whole numbers. 17 39 by 100 is same as 17.39. Here 17 is the whole number part and 39 is the fractional part. We use a dot called the decimal point to separate the whole number part which is 17 and the fractional part which is 39. The fractional part is always less than 1. We read the whole number part as is, say point, and then read the fractional part as digits. For example, the first number given is read as 17.39 and the second number is read as 98.27. Let us recall the place values of the digits in a number. In the number 457, 4 is in the hundreds place, so its place value is 4 times 100 equals 400. 5 is in the tens place, so its place value is 5 times 10 equals 50. 7 is in the ones place, so its place value is 7 times 1 equals 7. Clearly, as we move from left to right, from the hundreds to the tens to the ones place, the place value of a digit decreases by a factor of 10. What happens to the place values as we continue to move right beyond the decimal point? Let's have a look. The first digit to the right of the decimal point is in the tenths place. A tenth is one out of 10 equal parts of a whole. It is one tenth of the ones place or 10 times smaller than the ones place. For example, 4 in 457.4 is in the tenths place. If we divide one whole into 10 equal parts, we see that one part represents one tenth. Likewise, Three parts represent three tenths. The second digit to the right of the decimal point is in the hundreds place. The hundreds is one out of hundred equal parts of a whole. It is one hundredth of the ones place or hundred times smaller than the ones place. For example, two in 457.42 is in the hundreds place. Here, one shaded part represents one hundredth. Likewise, eight shaded parts represents eight hundredths. The third digit to the right of the decimal point is in the thousandths place. A thousand is one out of one thousand equal parts of a whole. It is one thousand or thousand times smaller than the ones place. For example, one in 457.421 is in the thousands place. Here, one shaded part represents one thousandths. So, we can conclude that the place value increases by a factor of 10 as we move towards the left. Alternately, the place value decreases by a factor of 10 as we move towards the right. Now, let us solve a question based on what we just learned. On placing 0 0.48 in a place value table, we see that 0 0.48 has 0 whole parts, 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. So, it is read as 0 0.48.
on placing 498.239 in a place value table, we see that 498.239 has 400s, 9 tenths, 8 ones, 2 tenths, 3 hundredths and 9 thousandths. So, it is read as 498.239. We now know how to identify the place value of any digit to the left or right of the decimal point. Now, let us learn how to express a decimal number as the sum of the place values of all its digits. This is called the expanded form. Let us write the expanded form for 498.239. We start by placing the decimal number in a place value table. On doing so, we see that 498.239 has 4 hundredths, 9 tenths, 8 ones, 2 tenths, 3 hundredths and 9 thousandths. Now, we express the number as the sum of the place values of its digits. So, we get its expansion in fractional form. We can also express the expansion in decimal form as shown here. Happy learning!